This is day nine, a sea day, and the last day of the cruise. I decided to have the frittata special. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna have a croissant and some smoked salmon. Thank you. I barely had time to taste my salmon. Yep. And who and my food arrived. Janetta had scrambled eggs with all kinds of stuff in it. The way I make it at home. And bacon, sausage, etc. So we're all ready to have some breakfast. I have some jelly off of it. You can maybe take oh. it. I love yeah. that camera. Oh, oh this James one? Bond. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he looks like a spy. Uh, I, know, like I, I can't stop looking at it. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> a lot better than carrying around a big one all day. Yeah. But he does carry a big one. Is mm. it very, is it very, uh, with camera, I mean, clear, mm -hmm. with, with pictures? That's fantastic. Yeah, that's a 4K video, so. Really? Yep. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's what really do you call cool. that? This is a DJI Osmo Pocket 2. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going to remember that, right? <laughs> I've never seen one. It's really I, it's just very, very interesting. It's his toy. It's yeah. his toy. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Yeah, the frittata's very good. It's, Is it uh, very good? Good. They have it all seasoned up so it doesn't even need salt and pepper. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, did you have to season it or they mm -hmm. had to season it? They seasoned it pretty well. Mm. See, I thought it was going to be planned. Yeah. Okay, underestimated. <laughs> This is the Tex-Mex Buffet. So today is the Tex-Mex Buffet. We both had some quesadillas they tried to make on the grill, but, and yeah. they're just not good. The meat's not very well seat, not very seasoned, and just not good. Now I do have some chili over rice, and that beef is well seasoned, so that's good. Pizza is always good. And we have our double scoop chocolate milkshakes. That are very good. Very good. I'm going to dump this pig. 
So Janelle's gonna leave that stuff and and uh, go make a go make some tacos out of the chili con carne. Yeah. That's a better deal. Okay, so the highlight of this meal is the super thick milkshakes. Man, they are good. Everything else is just mediocre. Okay, Janetta decided to get a hamburger instead and some sweet potato fries. And I have some bolognese along with a focaccia. While we were having lunch, Mary, one of the contract nurses in the medical center, stopped by and had a little chat with us. After lunch, we went up to the sports deck to participate in the bocce ball contest. Janetta. Janetta and I both won our rounds, but of course, she stole my winning ticket so that she could get more in the shops. The one thing I had yet to do was to visit the infinity pool on the aft part of the ship. This is the infinity pool on the aft portion of the ship, just outside the spa area.
If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of future videos. And give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. For our last dinner on board, we went down to Compass Rose. Yeah, it's holding the seat up for you. Yes, yes, they have it. <laughs> Thank you. Tonight, and your name is Billy. All right, Billy. Jeanette is still drinking. She's drinking. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna cut back. I've gone back to the lobster bisque. Jeanette is having the foie gras. And the bar guy Johnson just said he was gonna bring her something. I'm not sure what he said. Yeah, so that one looks like it's whole. Yeah, instead of. Yeah. The lobster bisque is good, but it's a little different from the other day. It's uh, less fishy and a little more salty. But it's still good. Now, the barman brought her a special uh, French wine that's more sweet to pair with her foie gras. Sauterne. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I now... <laughs> no, no, that, that, that I understood. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I didn't pick a picture of Janetta's bisque. That's what she had as her second course because you've seen it already. But this is my shrimp and asparagus risotto. Yeah, I gotcha. How is it? Is it very good? <laughs> All right, I know this is not a specialty restaurant, but out of the meals that we've had, I think the Compass Rose meals have been better than any of the specialty restaurants, wouldn't you say? No, it's a combination. Eh, no, you're wrong. Compass Rose has been better. All right. So I have to try my best. You haven't had any practice? Yeah, no practice at all. I'm like all, all running all day. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look at that. Good job. Good job. Okay. <laughs> we met Mary, so we know Mary down there. <laughs> but I still don't want to see her. Thank you. All right. I mean, thank you very much. And just in case you don't like it, we're out of here. I'm having spinach and potatoes gratin. We have some chicken red curry on the side. And Janetta's having this gigantic piece of Wiener schnitzel. All right. Doesn't look too sure about it. I suppose I squirt some lemon on it. I knew you don't, you don't like lemon. Well, you want me to take half of that and you take half of the Dover sole? So Janetta ended up not liking the Wiener schnitzel, which I kind of thought would happen. So I'm eating her Wiener schnitzel. She got some red curry, chicken red curry, and she's gonna eat that for dinner instead. That she liked. So our pedophores, we have macaroon, a rice crispy thing, peanut butter something, and I don't know. 
Just a bunch of sweet stuff. That one's good. The one you can eat is good. Oh. Yeah, it's like a granola bar. Yeah, very moist. Well, unfortunately, that brings us to the end of our cruise. It's been a really, really good cruise, good food, good drink, great places to visit, but all good things must come to an end. We'll be disembarking tomorrow morning in Miami and beginning the long drive over to Ocala. I'm not gonna film any of the disembarkation because it's probably gonna be pretty hectic. So we made it back safely to Ocala. Overall, I rate region a nine out of 10. The food was good, the service was great, and the ship was very nice. In terms of future travel, we were going to try out Crystal Cruises in March. We canceled that cruise when the Omicron surge started. Turns out that was a good move because a few weeks later, the Crystal Cruise Company ran into financial trouble. We were going to try out another cruise line, Crystal, in March, but we canceled that cruise when the Omicron surge hit. Turns out that was a stroke of good luck, because if you hadn't heard, the Crystal Cruise Company ran into financial troubles. They had about $5 million of unpaid fuel bills, and the Marshall Service would have seized the ships if they had docked in Miami. In a few weeks, we're going to take a road trip down to Key West. And then in June, we're going to take another road trip to Pinehurst, North Carolina, the cradle of golf in America. But our big trip is in August. We'll be flying over to Europe for a 22-night cruise on the Regent Voyager to the Baltics and the British Isles. So stick around, and we'll see you on our next adventure.